right. All there right. you go. I see. How are you doing okay. again? I'm doing great. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm You've ready been playing... for the meat. I meant lots of dick. And <laughs> there you go. I said it. Ha. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? Oh my god. I love Zoom so much, guys. It doesn't fail ever. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. So, uh, hmm. yeah. You've been playing the Arkham games, right? Yeah, I've been playing the Arkham series. Um, I've finished uh, Arkham Asylum not too long ago, and I started Friday, I believe, last week with Arkham City. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though I was always kind of meh about the whole Batman Arkham games, because the first one I've started playing because a friend of mine gave me a key for it was Arkham Origins. And yeah, uh, Shiny already said uh, that he's like the one rarity out there, the, the person that likes Origins. I didn't like it very much. <laughs> but that being said, I've played like two hours of it, and it was it was the first Arkham game I touched. So I looking mm. I'm looking forward to getting back into it eventually yeah when i'm done i mean it is better if you played the other two as well to be fair yeah it appears to not be canon and recently i've been uh like very into all those you know the superhero genre in tv shows and movies and mm. like and yeah yeah yeah. Watching, i've been watching like, uh info videos and stuff on the youtubes about comics and stuff because i can't be asked to read all the comics and buy them and whatnot. So, yeah, uh, have I you been... have you watched the Daredevil yet? Yeah, totally did. Amazing. Still watch that. It's it's really well, good. It's I, a really I, good show. Been going on about it, how good it is. it is. I need to sit down and watch the damn thing. In do it in one sitting. Take a day off, or I don't know. And <laughs> Thirty I'm hours. Doing of permission for a day off. I'm, like, I'm not even gonna say I'm gonna watch it because there's so many shows that I need to watch, and I'm just never gonna have the time for it. I'm doing it one episode a night, and it works. It's great that it, way. It is good. Yeah, I mean there is uh, something in the series that is like uh, they they could have chopped up and compressed some things like the drama between the Daredevil and a very close person to him they they could have just cramped it up and yeah like but like eight episodes long and not 13 and the ending was kind of disappointing in some ways for some people, well, i haven't seen that yet i'm not gonna say anything i am the okay. last person to spoil anybody but um yeah uh generally a good show really enjoyable um what else have i been playing i Again, the Arkham series, I'm playing through that. I'm also trying out uh, to go through a new schedule during earlier in the day, and I've been using that to get back into Brian of Isaac because I really love that game, and I kind of had to stop playing it because there's, there's too many games to cover, and I want to play different games and not always the same game at the same time. So, yeah. It's kind of like I, with what I'm doing at the moment. I'm kind of keeping Hearthstone. I have always have Hearthstone on the back burner for when I don't have anything else to play. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, a lot, I know a lot of people, I know Buff Daddy HD, he, when he's got nothing to play, he switches over to Binding of Isaac. Um, and yeah. that was kind of his thing to do. And HJ Tenshi does it as well. There's a lot of, Binding of Isaac's a really good one to go to. It's a really good game to go back to because that you can, no run's the same. It's all so varied, it's crazy. Uh, I mean, I'm not like into speedrunning or anything, but I really would like to try to get Platinum God, which is like unlocking everything, yeah. basically, before, which will probably not happen, uh, the update or the new DLC or expansion or whatever what it will be is coming out. Isn't what? it called the real Platinum God? Isn't there two? Yeah, re the real Platinum God is like having everything. Yeah, it's mm. crazy. Yeah, okay. it is pretty... I haven't crazy. played that game for so long now. It's a little crazy. It is yeah. so good. I mean, I suck at it. I really do. <laughs> I would be saying... Some people say, oh, you're fine, you're good. But I would say I'm decent at best. 
And I don't mind. I love the game. It's so much fun to play and it's so much replayability. No run is the same as Pew said. It's it's so great. I love the art style of it as well. It's kind of disturbing how it looks. Many people uh, yeah. don't touch it because of that. But mm. yeah, it, it's a great game. It, you can play it forever. I've put I've put like 260 hours into it, which is like a rarity for me to do in any That's game ever. Quite a bunch of hours, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I have like seventy something percent of like the achievements and unlocks or whatever. And before I stop talking about this, um, there is a boss called Mega Satan. If you guys know, uh, it is yeah. Yeah. an optional sort of yeah. boss. You yeah. don't have to beat him to like complete everything, I think. But you can go to him, and he's like the uber uber evil and the uber boss, and you. You do that. And the first time I went into that fucking room, can I say fuck on it? Yeah, I, I think yeah, I yeah. swear you like. Go for it. Cool. Yeah. Um, say fuck I, all the I fucking went in the fucking bo- All right, let's be real here, okay? I went into that fucking boss room, beat that motherfucker, <laughs> and you know what happened? My fucking save file was deleted. Nice. Oh, that's oh, great. After the credits that's the rolled. That's the best. That's the best, yeah. Everything gone. So I've been trying to achieve everything like again. And I'll probably not be able to get everything because I don't have the achievement that I beat in the prologue. That's okay, kind well, of that's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of shitty. Some rage. Yeah, well, it makes sense. I've I've had I've played Wings of V, and I, when I beat a boss, it was like, oh, the game got stuck on the moment I defeated him. So it's like, oh, I see how we're doing this now. You want me to beat him twice, huh? Cool, thanks, <laughs> game. You motherfucker. So yeah, yeah that's I've thing. made a highlight out of it because people said, oh, it's so funny, you raged so hard, <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> my save file. Yeah, yeah. Well, it does sound like Mega, just like Mega Satan, it just corrupts your save file. Um, gonna do it. It'll be mega Satan. Yeah, but yeah, uh, something we want. I wanted to talk about with you guys. Uh, the new whisper system. It's a thing that happened like yesterday, just randomly. I wasn't. Like, I, it just just sort of happened. What what did people think? I want to uh, ram. Shiny what did... should, shiny should not be allowed to use it and <laughs> should have his use revoked what? because I've had ten. I've had more America freedom pictures. <laughs> in the last I've been hour. getting them. Yep. <laughs> the hour. Yep. Has it really been I... that many? Mm-hmm. It's quite been quite a bit. I mean, I see, I see the uses. Uh, I see, I, I like, I like this use that Popsky is using it for. Thank you, Popsky. I think you're adorable as well. Um, oh. th- I mean, it's kind of fun. You can, if you, if you, I have this uh, option space down where only people who can, who I follow, can can whisper to me, and that really yeah. works for me. I, I don't like the fact that you can use it to circumvent uh, bans if you don't have that switched on. Especially if you're, like, harassing a person in the stream, you'd be able to just whisper to this person that you're harassing still after you're banned. Sure, the user can type slash ignore, get rid of this person, but it's still an extra hurdle to do and something that the mod can do for people. I don't know. It has upsides and downsides, definitely. I mean, I can... <laughs> I can I can now uh, I can now whisper to Shiny that his gifts are are amazing, or I can I can tell uh, Pew that his uh, his his camera is a bit pixelated, and etc. So that's that's good. But the bad side is that I can also use it to uh, send Pew a million emotes, or Pew can send a million Rex slides to me as he's been doing for the last two days. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely a, also something you can abuse. That's one of the issues I'm seeing with it is unmoderated chat. Now, the whole reason we have moderators nine times out of ten is to make sure that everyone is having a good time. Yeah. And I can see people using this system as a way to definitely uh, get some sneaky abuse in there. <laughs> oh my god, Icy, please. This was supposed to... What, what, what was... What? What? What 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 was that from again? Uh, you were doing like a celebration thing, and I made a lots of dancing gifts of you. I didn't. It just turned into it. You made it. You made it happen, actually. <laughs> Still like, though, it I was, was playing amazing. Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii, and I was grinding because I couldn't be the boss. I was level grinding, and let's let's just listen to some YouTube music. And you were like, "Hey, let's oh, listen right. to '90s songs," and I'm like, "Yeah,", yeah, yeah and then yeah. we listen to '90s songs, and then we. It, Turned into an 80s, 90s. I was there. It was good. Dance party, and it was great. 
Good yeah, stuff. No. For me, the whisper system, um, people are going to remember that there is settings for it. Uh, I mean, I still, I, still think, I still think that it's absolute ass and they should just remove it instantly. But there, <laughs> there is settings that you can change. If you go into oh. your, uh, I think it's channel and videos, is it? Um, I'm not really sure. Yeah. Or security yeah. and privacy or something. Uh, yeah, security yeah. and privacy. Um, you can block whispers from strangers. So how that works yeah. basically is nobody unless you follow them can whisper you um which basically means you have to follow all your mods um but it kind of uh completely sl uh, flips it around on its head because i had during my stream yesterday me and I, I threw shiny in the cast and we spoke about this to everyone because it was just a relaxed kind of half stone cast so i threw shiny in and we um we just spoke about this and a, a couple of my lurkers messaged me and i didn't read their names out on cast but they they messaged me and they were like the whisper system is fantastic for people who are a little bit too shy to engage with everyone in chat but still want to talk to you and still want to get the messages through to you and stuff and it's like i'm like yeah i can agree with that that's really good but the issues that that kind of brings with it if you put block strangers on is that you have uh like like trolls can message you and they can send you spoilers and they can send you uh backseating they can spoil an yeah. entire game plot and there's nothing that you can do about it because you That's don't know I... that you have to, you don't know that you have to get rid of it until you've read it and you have to physically yeah. add them to an ignore list so it's um it's it's a bit crappy it's I a bit crappy. A question. that's why i changed Is it there no option to like turn this whole thing off not entirely only for no, people who uh not, who you don't yet. follow not yet because sure the problem that, yeah. I have with it is not the idea is cool that you can whisper people, but for um, I found out today because I was whispering in your channel that whoever I whisper to or with, you will always see it, right, Gary? If I whisper yeah. in your channel, you will it's always in, yeah, see it's it. in every chat, so no matter which channel. I yeah. actually see it as a distraction and a oh no, wait, I, are you I, talking about just, if you whisper to someone else in Gary's channel? Yeah. Oh no, Gary won't see that. I've got two. No, no, I can't see right that. Now, and I can see both. Oh, yes. yeah, no, 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 no. I think, yeah, yeah. I see means if he whispers to me on his channel, I will get it on my channel. Oh yeah, that's what the you mean, only right? people who can see the whispers are two people: the people sending the whisper and the person receiving it. No yeah. one else can see it. But that's. But it. the person who is getting it will I see would... it on every channel that he's in. Yeah. So I would rather like it's where if it's if if it's your channel, you can see any whisper going on. It's it's hard really? though because oh. they, people can people can whisper cross channel, so yeah. like if yeah, someone I've was contacting someone else, it would be weird. But yeah, like people were whispering to each other. My mods were whispering to each other in their in my channel, and uh, I can't see that. Mm -hmm. I, I can't see that, and I think that that system. I don't know how strange it would be. It would be um, it would be weird. It would be weird <laughs> for me. Like. But then, how do I flirt with Shiny in secret? That the channel owner sees all whispers. No, nope, they can't see no, all they whispers. No, they can't. I mean, yeah. you, you can try it right now. I won't be able to see it. I mean, I mean, I know this for a fact just because I know Shiny has been messaging people with America things, and I haven't seen all of them. I've only yep. seen the Freedom. ones. Chat Freedom. Full of that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's fine that you, you can't see it, even if you're the channel moderator, because it is cross-channel. I just yeah, don't it's... like that you can get around bans in certain ways. I mean, people are going to are gonna have the ability to themselves go ignore. Oh, that's right. If, you're, if you ban someone, they can still uh, send you a whisper, correct? Yep, yeah. That, yeah. Is see, that needs to go. That. Yeah. That definitely it is an excellent way to see if someone's following you. If they have the option to switch off. Chat. See, I, I want them to add an option. I really want them to add an option for partners so that your subs can whisper you. Like, people you follow and your subs. I'd be fine with that. Oh, would that would so be good. With that. Because at yeah. the moment, people can use it as a way to get around sub only. I think like, there should be options for, like, everything. Like, just check boxes. Those yeah, people can be. whisper me. I can whisper those people. I can't see this, this, or that. Hell, even a checkbox for only turbo users can whisper me or whatever. Just more options for more everything. Options. Yeah, I agree completely. There's nothing Just... here to change. You can either have them on or on for a certain number of people. There's nothing yeah. actually to choose yeah. from. That's a good that point, actually. Yeah. Because that's, that's not 
I mean, already people are trying this out to see how, how far they can take this. Uh, and I'm just talking about people that I know. Just just, just seeing how, how annoying they can be with it. And if you try, if you really try, you can annoy the fuck out of someone with it. You know, The so. only way to block someone on it, this is the, one of the flaws of the system. If you ban someone from your channel, if you ban someone from them, they can literally whisper you. And it doesn't even matter. You have yeah, to physically yeah, yeah. click their name and press ignore so when you ban someone and you think they're going to be a spoiler or like they're a troll or they're very toxic be sure to also press the ignore button if you haven't got the setting turned on to not receive whispers from strangers see but that makes it shit because now yeah, you have to do still as the broadcast you have to still do a second thing to get them out of the chat normally the mods mm -hmm. take care of this and that's really bad i'd like it if your editors could choose who you ignore that would be okay with me so if I just turned all my mods into editors and when they banned people, they also added them to Pew Gemini Live's ignore list, I'd be okay with that. That would be nice. That would be good. I would agree, yeah. But yeah. at the moment, the system's completely flawed, in my opinion. It's completely flawed and it needs it needs a lot of work. I think they didn't think this through when they kind of added it on. They've kind of just threw it out there right now. and We're in kind of alpha whisper phase. And we're going to have a lot of problems over the yeah, coming weeks. It's actually kind of weird because Twitch always used to like check things a bazillion times before even considering bringing them to Twitch. Like, I don't know, even the um, renew subversary button or whatever. It took them, from what I've heard, like months until they brought it in because they had to check things and tested and whatever and make sure it works right and make sure it's all in place and whatever and this yeah as you said it just doesn't seem like they thought about it enough yeah and Which even the so renew weird. button even the renew button screwed up like that shit yeah. went really bad like one at one point it was triple charging subs for oh, pressing that's the not the button. that's not the renew button though the renew button all the renew button does is it checks whether you've renewed yourself in the last 15 days and then it just Pops a message in the chat. It has nothing to do with the payment system. The payment system charging you three times is a is a problem with the payment system. Yeah, it's but then the renew uh, button it allowed you to spam it in the chat like three times. It was crazy. The renew button kind of went hand in hand with it. I mean, the, the renew button didn't cause the problem, but it didn't make the problem any better because like B Rex came in and was like, B Rex has been subbed two months, three months, four months, five months, all in one announcement, and I was like, what? And he just filled my chat with it, and it was what the fuck. He was like, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm going to get it refunded and set the dates back. So they kind of fixed it, but it was a, it was a shitty problem. Yeah, I guess. One thing, we, one thing me and Gary were trying yesterday is trying to get bots to use the whisper command. And I Impossible. think that, we, we were thinking that would be really useful, though, to get like, if someone says, hey, what's your YouTube link? And they can just do the YouTube command and the bot would tell them, but not fill up your chat, especially your on-screen chat with a whole bunch of bot commands. Yeah, I think this would be especially handy for users who want to do things like, uh, I want this whole explanation of what you've been doing in this game, for instance, and it doesn't just fill up the whole chat. Just this one user gets sort of the the the, um, the lay of the land of what of what where, where are you up to in the game now, That's or the rules, or um, uh, I had an idea where uh, some some people uh, I I know Shiny has this have like a, a currency in their chat. You can like rob and stuff, and this tends to fill up the chat a lot. Like it, it makes the chat like fucking well unreadable in some uh, some uh, sometimes when it's really active. Um, it would be nice if the bots could whisper specific things to you, like oh, it, uh, nice. it's been accepted that you are now oh, gambling or doing whatever. That. Yeah, that's you know that would be, that would work pretty well. So and then you could only put the main messages that everybody needs to see in the chat. So if a heist, I know Shiny has a heist for Shinebox. If he does a heist and it's successful, it puts that in the chat. That's all it puts there. Not the million of messages of people joining and all that kind of stuff. That would be great for me, because I don't like uh, I don't like the fact that it like spams the chat with all the messages. I get that people need the information back to them when they do the currency system, but I don't like sort of the effect it has on the chat. Gary, let me know if this works. Well, what you can do. Let's the bot the whisper. In here. Um, so one second. Well, if I put. Well, are you trying to whisper in my bot or YouTube Did that test? Whisper you? No, no, not at all. If you didn't, okay, cool. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I got my bot connected to your channel. Um, but yeah, oh, you I tried sort of... sending this from your bot? 
Yeah, I've, I've connected my bot into your channel, and I put the command as a uh, slash whisper target, but it just won't work. It just will not work. Oh. It's pretty ah. shitty. Yeah, we, we were we were trying this for a lot of, for, for like an hour or so yesterday. I mean, it's it's definitely yeah, I just something want... I think bots just don't, bots just don't register the whisper. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't think it's put in their, uh, I don't think it's put in their coding yet, what a whisper actually is. I, I think so the reason... I think the reason for this is that the whisper doesn't actually end up in the IRC channel, and it ends up sort of in a, yeah. in a separate thing that Twitch then puts in the IRC. So yeah, as Gus you just said, whisper doesn't work over IRC. There you go. So, so it's gonna it's gonna have to wait for someone to update that. Yeah, it won't. Yeah. I just tried using just a standard whisper command in the dashboard, and that just doesn't work. Yeah. So yeah. I That's mean, it has it has upsides and downsides. I think the whispers is going to be very handy for for mods. I wish I could just set a check checkbox that says that my mods can whisper me mods of my channel, because it, it can easily pull a list of mods in my channel, and I don't have to follow Honestly, them just so they can I mean, whisper to me. Can't you make the whispers work with your bot if like somebody says something and just pro program it oh. to say the slash w? Yeah, you know, I tried that. that. I tried that, but it doesn't so. work. Um, the IRC hasn't updated for bots yet, so it's using the outdated version of IRC. So as soon as it, as soon as the bots update, um, they should be able to use the whisper well, system. I, if it works that so way, if it's just a Twitch API, then it might will never work. On the IRC. It's it's like so if you if you go into the have you got a bot IC? Really? Are you not? Yeah, you not yeah, got he a bot? A, yeah, yeah, he has a bot. I, I've got an I've got an Ankh bot. Um, oh really? And Ankbot's great. So mm -hmm. if you go into the dashboard and you type a command like slash w, it doesn't work. Yeah, no, so, it doesn't. It yeah, won't I'm let trying you. to switch over to uh, Ankbot actually. All, yeah. all the damn point system is saved in in Deepbot. I need to find a way how to extract mm -hmm. that. Over you don't have to I forgive me. I forget. I forget everything. Like I, I've got memory loss. The Cosmonk just said it again. Whisper does not work over IRC. All your bot is is a is a sort of program that's connected to an IRC chat room, and all it does is read stuff and output stuff in an IRC channel. It doesn't actually use a Twitch API, so you cannot whisper using your bot. That's the whole problem of it, right now, anyway. So yeah, that's that. It's too bad, but yeah, other uses could be great. I mean, I, again, we were talking about having options. I think having the option to say. Uh, I want uh, my uh, my fucking well, how do you say that? I want my mods to be able to Actually. message me without me following them. That would be great. That kind of stuff. That would be that would yeah. be fantastic. Yeah, would I be should hope like, Twitch admins would be able to whisper me, for instance. Yeah, absolutely. Like they override the system. Like I think that it's it's good in concept, but right now there's a lot of customization they need to allow me to do as you said with my mods that would be nice with my editors that would be nice with my subs that would be nice if there was a way yeah. to add regulars that would be nice as well for people who aren't partnered um if you could have like a list yeah. of people like a friends list that would be yeah really i would great. love a regular yeah. list in general though to yeah. be fair like, like if you could go over to their profile just add them to friends like type of thing that would be really cool yeah um you know just for the whisper system um i'm trying to think what else could work as well uh yeah obviously bot whisper activated commands is another one so if anyone if you if you want to take this into into account guys and if you want to tweet any of this stuff at uh at like anything then or at twitch in general if they have um anything going on then you know bring up the points maybe twitch will listen maybe we can have uh some sort of implemented changes that would be nice it's really weird that this doesn't work with the bot Nah, it makes sense because it's it, the bot doesn't use uh, Twitch API. It just uses an IRC channel. Yeah. So yeah. it it, it kind of makes sense. It's it's not great that it doesn't work, but it makes sense to me that it doesn't work. Um, do we really have anything else like to say about this? Make something. Yeah, By maybe. Way, I have a question. Um, is there any like things um you want Ankbot to update soon? Like that um, you guys think are missing? Because I have some things um, that I'm I mean, Angbot has a um, has a, has a function where it automatically hosts and stuff for you. I would just like a simple um, checkbox that says automatically unhost when someone goes offline. Mm. Like that. that does exist. That is it in does there. Exist, yeah, or it used to anyway in the old Angbot. Maybe he hasn't put it where, in the new one, but that should be in there uh what are we i mean currently it's 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 it says swap only when hosted channel is offline that's all it has yep. there for the automatic hosting but yep. um 
But that, then I need a list of other people to swap to. I, I only want it to unhost for me. Nothing else. You don't want it to oh, host okay, someone so else? Just, I just automatically host one channel, and when that channel stops, it stops. Yeah. Because I don't like having my uh, channel hosted all the time, because I've noticed that when I have my channel hosting someone else, people don't sit in the chat and idle anymore. And it's lovely yeah. when they do, because it makes sure that they are always there, already there when, uh, when I go online. And I can just reach the them and they can, can reach me. Fix that? Add dead channels to the list. Add, like, your bot to the list, like Jacko du Salt and whatnot. And then when oh, the channel yeah. goes online, it will throw it back up. So I guess I could do um, that. That's the only way to do it. Yeah, but uh, it won't. It will only swap your... then, right? It will. It will. It will stay on nothing, and then when one of the channels go up, it will hit up, hit up the host. But it would like uh, not show your offline screen, right? No. Yeah, because I wanted to show my offline screen. Because I've asked people on host. Yeah, that's the issue. I've asked people, and they said I used to always have this page open, but now I don't anymore because when I was hosting someone. And uh, uh, this person goes uh, offline and then goes online again. Suddenly music starts playing or whatever starts happening. And I don't like yeah. that. They don't want that yeah. kind of random shit happening on your, on your channel. That's so why I, don't I that. actually don't use the automatic, well, automatic hosting, hosting system. No, I don't use it either because of that. I, I want to host somebody that I enjoy watching and that, that I want to show to people that are yeah. in my channel or not. And I want to choose those people when and also know that they're online and what what not yeah i mean i only host people if i'm actually watching them myself so same so, with the auto host yeah. as well as it's got to be you've got to have your bot on sometimes i just want to turn off my computer and i can't do that if the automatic host is running yeah. i need to keep the bot open to use it i mean it would be great if twitch had a function and i don't know if it does this yet but uh, also this is not a thing that's currently uh, a thing i believe um if you go live and you're hosting someone, that will just happen. You can just do that. You can just go well, live nice. with, yeah, like, while hosting immediately someone. Immediately cut the host. Yeah. yeah. Like, why no. is this not a thing already? That should have been implemented the day it was implemented we, in we, Twitch. We've I think we host open and started their broadcast. I think we've all Me? done five minutes of talking to ourselves before. Yeah. I've done it. I've done. I've done. I've half done whole pre-shows without realizing it. Yeah. yeah. I've done like thirty minutes, and then I realized I was like, oh. I was get. I actually got to the point where I was getting like pissed off. I was like, and I never usually do this, but I was like, "Has everyone left me?" And it was like, <laughs> like, and and like, I was like, "Oh, okay." And people I, were talking I've, in my chat like, "When the fuck is Pew gonna turn up?" I'm like, "I'm here." Like, what you I've, want? I've always gotten very lucky with this because I have so I have people in my chat who are basically always there via an IRC client, and they'll be like, "Um, you're not there. Could you yeah. maybe unhost yourself or something or whatever the hell is going on?" Like, oh, yeah. that's, a, that's a thing, right? Whoops. Yeah, I don't know why yeah, this isn't just a checkbox. The, the auto hosting, I wouldn't want to like pop up in someone's channel like five times in an hour. Yeah, that's what it does normally. That, that's happened to me. Like someone will host my channel like five t five different times an hour. I'm like, wow, that yeah. is some, is some spammy stuff right there. Because awesome. you know you have them just rotating all the time. Yeah. Every yeah. Five so switch, switching interval every, every, every 10 minutes and then there's a list of two. So every 20 minutes you get hosted again and again and again. Yeah. Exactly. Um, uh, I am. I'm gonna have to quickly just kind of run out the room for three minutes or something. My parents yeah, were off on holiday yeah, for two weeks, and I'm not gonna oh, see them. They're just about to leave. Yeah, so go. wish them a good one, man. Okay. Mine literally just came back. That's why the break was a bit longer. <laughs> nice. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah. See you later. Oh man. But yeah. Um. Can I? Can we please just have an automatic unhost feature? I don't know why this isn't already a thing. This is really silly. I don't know why. Well, you know. <laughs> you know how to contact Ank, right? So. No, this can is not an Ank thing. This is something Twitch, Twitch should have implemented. Thing. Can everyone in chat just start spamming the hell out of some whispers to Pew while he's away? Oh, so yeah, please. That, that, would right. that would be great. That would be great. Just make it an email. He hasn't changed what? the setting, I think, but maybe. But what, 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 what can we spam him? Looks like a uh, Kappas. Spam him Kappas. Kappa. The filters oh, don't, do not work. Oh, on, Kappas, uh, yes. Everyone yeah, just... Bam, I'm going to do it too. In whispers. In whispers. <laughs> For those of you watching this on YouTube or listening to the podcast later, uh, he hates Scapper. He, he fucking hates Scapper. Oh, th thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> oh, my God. Paul is taking immediate revenge. Um, yeah, so, um, so I sent him a couple lines. Oh, that's beautiful, Icy. I love it. 
Are you sure? I'm going to yeah. send him so many kappas right now. Chat, but yeah, so those you, actually, for those of you for those you listening or watching later, Pew hates hates kappa. Just for Sorry, let there. me try this on you. You still I... got kappa banned, haven't you, Gary? Yeah, no, I it works. I can just type kappas. It doesn't it doesn't yeah, take the filter into account at all. To you. Yes, you can. You re- just because Pultry just sent me five thousand of them. So the whisper system circumvents your blacklist. Yes. That's terrible. That needs yep. to be fixed. <laughs> right now. Yep. We have blacklists yeah, pull- for a reason. We don't want to see these. Pultry things. guys literally just whispered me because you can't have nice things and then just a fucking line of cappers. Yeah. So, oh man, so um, I mean, did you guys actually always hated Kappas, or did you grew to hate them? I grew no. to hate it. I personally like. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna offend a lot of people who have them. I find it lack like it's a lack of creativity. You yeah, have yeah. Yeah. you have four slots in the world to show your channel and your brand, and all you can do is copy someone else's emo and the other four hundred variations of it. <laughs> it's, it's lazy as far as I'm concerned, which is terrible, I'm sure. I have to be honest. Occasionally, I like my Kipo though. I don't, I don't, I don't like it because it's, it's, it's a connotation that goes with it. And I think if you have a kappa and your emo true. slots, I think it's a wasted sort of slot because there's like yeah. four, no, six hundred others of them. So why, why even have it? There is absolutely no point. I really I hope you're right about that one. Yeah. I, I'm kind of hoping that Icy has forgotten that he still has his gif up, or, or he's just. No, that's, no, who, that's who I see is now. I'm, I'm choosing my next Oh, he's one. he's flying Zach Galifianakis now. Okay. All right. Yeah, OPOP is the new cap up. Yeah, or Steel, you can't uh, actually. No, OPOP is not the new cap yet because there's it's not a million going, OPOPs it's going yet. To become the new it's Kappa. kind of used as the new cap. Yeah. You know what the new cap is? is? The okay, fucking. The Kappa, W is the new cap. I see. The W is the new cap. What do they start using? Amphi game or OPOP or oh you know W, like I, I but but my problem with the, the kappa is not just that it, the way it's used it's the how many of them there are which is why I'm gonna keep saying this one more time now the W is the new kappa. Everybody. Yeah. What is the W though? I have no idea what it's, this. It's uh, a, it's the potato brow thing. I think was that one that what? started it or it it comes one, from think. it comes from uh, and correct me if I'm wrong here. Someone who actually uh, has like known these for as long as they've been around because they've been around uh, around a long time. They come from um, Hearthstone and I want to say League of Legends streams and now uh, some other streamers start, started getting one and now there's 140 of them and nobody needs them. I just I just I just don't get it. I'm sorry. Is it <laughs> Faces? Is it just yeah, faces? It's a square faces. It's a face with a nose. And I don't get it. Maybe I'm just. The, it's just one of those new trends. It's just like having a kappa emote. And I also despise having a kappa emote because again, it's a wasted slot. There's a there's literally hundreds other of them. We don't need this. I just don't. I get that the broadcast is having fun with them. I get that there are loads of viewers who have a lot of fun with them. I don't want them personally. If you want them, that's fine. I don't want them though. I think they're all. I have been bad. controlling the Kappa for like the past two minutes. You can still get globaled for whispering, so just oh. be careful. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Can you scroll man. up in your chat for us, Pew. Oh God. Never Thank mind. you, Pew. <laughs> <laughs> it worked, guys. So we were displaying uh, a bit of how you can actually um, um, th- abuse the sort of uh, chat system there. The, the whisper Alphon, system. stop, please. <laughs> oh, he's still going, Darling, guys. You can stop. I'm you can a st- rebel, and I refuse to spam cappers. You can stop now, guys. You can stop now. It's okay. Oh God, I, I see you are now officially worse than than um, than shiny when it comes to fucking around with your camera. Yeah, please. please. I just I just don't <laughs> want to be on cam while I'm having a cigarette. I'm sorry. Well, that you can switch it off. That's fine. If you want? <laughs> okay. Don't need I don't need constant looping gifts. They're they're kind of uh, abrasive. Uh yeah, I mean look at this this no list worries. that uh six 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 just uh, put up. I mean there's oh there's too much cappas. Oh my god. There's too god. much cappas. These are all guys look, these are all the same emote with a different face, with a or a different hat on or whatever the fuck. And every single person who made one of those thought they were being a special snowflake and clever. Yeah. Yep. That's that that's that's creativity right there on that page. Speaking of emotes, uh, what are your stances on the whole better Twitch TV personal emotes thing? 
I don't oh. like when they're actually being used as emotes because later you're gonna switch them over to actually paid emotes and then it's gonna be like, oh, I there goes your free emotes. Yeah. Well, people will though. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do that, it's kind of dickish, yeah. Yeah, and it. it's going to happen. This, I don't. Oh, yeah. I don't plan to do that. I mean, I... shiny. How are you finding your better Twitch TV emotes? Yeah, they're used once in a while. I gotta, I gotta redo some of them though, because I only like like two of them. The, and even the, those, the, I need to edit. Do you know you can share them though? Yeah, that's yeah. what we've done. I'm putting, I'm putting shinies in my channel now. The reason, I, I mean, I'm partnered and I like this system. It's kind of like a 50-50 thing for me. Firstly, it restricts you to five emotes which is, you know, it, it doesn't say you can have as many as you want. Uh, secondly, it only works in your channel unless other people allow your emotes. So other people who want to support you and whatnot, you know, that's the mm -hmm. only way that you can get your emotes in other channels. Um, it allows for sharing of funny emotes as well. I think it's nice that we can get user-created emotes like Ditto, for example, which was made by Knight. Uh, you can put that in your channel if you want to, and you also yeah, don't Ditto's have to cool. put it in your channel. So Ditto's great. Like Ditto's a really good addition, and there's so many others like it as well um, that you can either choose to add or choose not to add, which is nice, really. Like I, I can choose to have you, some of Shinies in. Do you guys like animated emotes? Because I find them very distracting. If something's Ditto, just flashing I like. away, I'm torn on them. I like Ditto so much because Ditto, but I think if they're, I, th I think Sour Please is terrible. Yeah, so. Sour Please is bad. Has anyone seen the huge emotes? You mean the four parters? No, 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 no. Not the four. They're, they're like, I don't know how it's done. But oh, I know which one. I know which ones you mean. Oh, you're talking yeah. about the bugged out emotes, like the Dan one uh, that just bugs out and it makes like a massive emote. That's that's actually not intentional. That's a bug with it. No, no. I mean, like, it's a long emote. Uh, hold on. Oh, hmm. those are from grandfather channels. Um, ATK has them, for instance. Oh, is that what those are? Yeah, yeah. Uh, back in the day, uh, you could submit emotes that were larger than 28 by 28. Uh, yeah, that one's a bugged one, I believe, uh, Pew. That one's a bugged one, I believe. That's a big-ass emote. Yeah, I mean, look, 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 look. Popsky, for instance, has a uh, W. And I think it's great that Popsky's having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I think, I'm not saying you should get rid of yours. I'm just saying, I don't like them, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, like the one Arctic just disposed that one flips out a lot. Uh, it used to be like, uh, let's say, uh, 100 by 100 pixels, complete madness. But yeah, like I, I don't know, I, I'm not really big on the on the on the W emotes. I just don't like them. I I get that it's a trend. I get that Kappa is a trend, and therefore a lot of people are gonna have them. I just don't, I just don't like them. I, I just find I just find it very distracting when I'm trying to like play a game and keep up with my chat because every time I see a movement, my chat's very slow. If I see movement in my chat, it means someone's posted a new thing. Oh, what's? Oh no, hang on. Just a rotating GIF again. So it's a distraction to you. I find it yeah. very distracting for me, yeah. Um, yeah, yours the, is a the no thing, spot, so that's true. The stance on, on W emotes for me is I liked bro... I like Okay, it's going to clear something up for everyone. I, I said the same thing on my broadcast. I'm going to say the same thing here. Um, the W emote was not invented by variety broadcasters. Neither was it invented by bro Tato. Soda Poppin and the Hearthstone and the pro game a lot. Like th these guys who play... Hearthstone, World of Warcraft, you know, all these games pretty much for a living. Soda Pop and played WoW for a living for the longest time. Uh, they invented the W emotes, not Brotato. He did not invent this. Now, I love Brotato, and it's nothing against him, but this was not... This is this is something that the variety crowd... We're about six months behind on this. These W emotes have existed for, for a long time already. They've been out for a long-ass time. Uh, Trump has one. Crip has one. Uh, fucking, you know, Soda Poppin has one. All these people, they already have them, right? So we kind of jumped on this bandwagon very late. W emotes are not a new thing. The noseless ones, on the other hand, Rotato did invent. The noseless ones are the ones that he kind of bought in for the new W thing. Um, and the note of the Heim has decided to make everyone a W face on Twitch, uh, on Twitter, which I think is pretty funny. So it gives you the option of having one or not. See, I like um, seeing the ones. The, the, done. The, the, <laughs> my thing is on it is that it's becoming the new Kappa. It's one of those faces like Kappa that you can just very easily throw after a sentence and it's just it's just there. You can say, hey guys, you know, fucking W. How is everyone doing? W. I did this today, W. And it's like one of those non kind of opinion emotes. Well, I mean, Kappa does hold an opinion along with it, but it's one of those emotes that can just be spammed. And any emote that can be put in chat for no reason where I always have to look at it 
uh, like I wouldn't put a painting up there that I always have to look at, like a stupid painting that I don't like looking at. So that's that's kind of why yeah. I bother. I mean, that's very true. I, I guess the main reason why I don't like them is because of how fucking hideous they are. I mean, uh, as as Popsky just pointed out, he has one, but his is his, his has a nose and is basically a normal face zoomed in. I know Speth has well, it's, one. It's Popsky's girlfriend. But hers is it's called Popsky's Speth girlfriend. Gassim. These are normal yep. faces with the camera zoomed in, whereas the regular W emotes are do are emotes with like no nose and they've been photoshopped to be like at an angle and it. And I just don't it's like the way they look. It's getting very samey. I'd like it. Like, Brotato's one was very original in that it didn't have a nose and it got added in. And that's why everyone blew up over it and loved it. And then every other broadcaster kind of just went, oh, See? that new style of emote without a nose. We've got to get one of them. And it was like, that's oh, my the fucking thing. God, please. Yeah. That's know, the thing. If, if Brotato had really... it by himself, it would have been fine. He did, and it was, that would have been fine because it was original yeah. and it was new. And I'd never seen an emote without a nose before. And that's why I found it funny. But... The fact that every single broadcaster jumped on the bro on the on the bank cabin bandwagon and said, "Oh, oh, look, the new it's like Kappa. Like everyone, everyone loves Kappa, right? Oh, everyone loves Bro W. We've got to get our own one of the ones without a nose." And fair play, if people want to get the ones without a nose, then great, please go for it. it if you think they look funny and your chat likes them, then who am I to say that you shouldn't have them? I'm not, you know, a, a, a Twitch administrator for emotes as much as i would yeah yeah these emotes. are just our opinions guys don't fucking forget yeah. that if i, I can hate someone are. and you can love it and that's totally all fine i mean uh, there's uh, always sets of emotes everyone wants to have right there's there's like the hard emotes almost everybody has one there's again the the cap of variations and now the w's and i don't know thumbs ups or yeah. highs or yeah. yeah. i mean i have the rip gravestones as well Mm -hmm. I'm definitely a very sort of uh, demanding person when it comes to this. That's true. I, 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 I do set high standards for people. Like, if you have something that everyone else has, I'm immediately going to go like, well, you tried for like five minutes, couldn't decide on anything and decided to go with this. That's literally what I think. You just couldn't think of anything better. So you went with this, the, the easiest, shittiest thing that's super popular everywhere. And you just copied it down carbon, uh, carbon for carbon. Yeah, and then that, you that have makes those you sad. people that subscribe to those channels just collect, just to collect their hard emotes. And then yeah. post all the hard emotes. Yes, that's Popsky. <laughs> that's Popsky. He has the hard bombs. I don't, I don't even <laughs> mind the hard bombs that much, to be honest. I don't. I, I mean, don't the, the thing them. is, with the differences between hearts and faces for me is that hearts you know, don't carry anything with it. It's just love and nothing else. It's love, heart, good vibes. A face it carries a lot with it. Like it's it's a person. Like it carries a hell of a lot you know of, of things to look at like shan's w is absolutely terrifying but avalon's w is funny you know like like you know they, they carry different things with them and bros is just ridiculous like i like i like pop skis because it's it's kind of it's very similar to kind of the concept of something similar to spethgasm which is just a funny face of a person which is very yeah. human to me that's very yeah, I love spethgasm it's just a zoomed in picture and that is fine because that's a very normal thing that you haven't had to you know you can't really get much different you can't really go out of the box with that but physically editing it to remove the nose shift the mouth up you know put it on, a, on an angle and whatnot just like everyone else has that's a very specific set of movements just like grayscaling something pulling a sarcastic face and putting it in 28 by 28 is practically making your own capri remote well you know, in it, this it case even that's that's the thing. It ha is so similar that I can't tell some of them apart. It's like when when yeah. Kappa emotes use all the same Kappa phases. They literally take the face of Kappa and put it over their own emote. And I'm and then I go, yep. what have you done? You you've you've had an original concept and you've removed the originality from it by taking this thing that are already literally six hundred others of what? Yeah, what? The, the, I like what Steel said. At least the heart emotes are somewhat different. A couple of them are very similar, but there's also quite a few of them that are very well done and carry something from the stream. Like this is this is my yeah. one. Like, I haven't seen a heart emote that's even remotely similar to that. And, and yeah, yeah. that's why I love it. Uh, um, Aaron has one that's a zombie heart. And uh, EXP has one from Necrodancer. Because he was, like, hanging out with the Necrodancer devs a lot. And he helped like, launch that game off the ground a lot. Popsky. <laughs> Popsky's one's nice. I, like it. I love yours, Popsky. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, I mean, th th it's very different for me. Uh, Inno has his own love emote, which is just him throwing out hugs. Dan has one with his, with his face on it, which basically everybody on Twitch knows. Wix has one like that's bowsy and he has like all of these, I these just weird... I can't deny it. I love hard emotes. I love them. Like... Oh, good. Yeah, you card. There's rarely I mean, a hard emote that is not looking You awesome. can't go wrong with a hard emote. Like, yeah, even just the I very just use it. that it's for is just 
it's a pleasant emo that you're like it's a pleasant yeah. emotion that you're emoting. It's yeah, not yeah. Energy. like all yeah. all over sharing like love and stuff on Twitch. Yeah. That's why I just it's like great. It. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I just don't like the W trend. I guess. Uh, I mean, if you're gonna do it the way. I, I, I kind of want to do say this now that I've seen some more of them because people have been posting them in the channel. Uh, uh, Popsky, you have one of the better ones. Good job on not completely ruining a face for yours. <laughs> Thank you for not fucking it up. Because that's Tiger seriously. Has two heart emotes. Yeah, he does. He has the, the pizza one and the beard one. Tiger Rider has two cards, two heart emotes. So mm -hmm. I think so does uh, the Mortag. Doesn't he? I think the yeah. more Mortag. the more I look at them, I think my biggest problem with them is just that they're fucking hideous. The W emotes, most of them anyway. <laughs> me me just oh out. my so god, wow. you both pooped out a bunch of hearts there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like Bopsy's got you on the heart collection. Oh yeah. I had to cancel so many subs, otherwise I would drop hearts. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So sad. Holy emotes, anyway, man, man. Uh, I want to tackle that whole better Twitch TV thing just for. Oh yeah, moment. yeah. Um, we kind of got distracted. From I that personally one. like it. Um, but it depends on the channel. If if people um, are doing it so they have you get partnered, they put it behind the paid wall. I mean, I can't understand it, but it sucks. Yeah, but I don't like that. Chooses for themselves if they want to do it. I, for example, submitted uh, one better Twitch TV emote just yesterday, but I am also um, in the mindset that this emote, if ever partnership happens for me i will not put behind a paywall yeah as long as it stays free that's fine with me you can do whatever yeah. then that's yeah. really how um, i feel the only downside i have about it and i'm going to keep saying this because it makes me sad the okay. people on mobile can't see it people who don't have vtv can't see it that's my only gripe with it really there's just people who can't see it that's just too bad um for me it's very much a case of i know that bro with a fro um, before this whole better twitch.tv emotes thing come in, before he was partnered, he used to have two um, two emotes on Franker's faces, and he had it on his stream. Download Franker Fazy, you mean? Yeah, Franker Fazy. Yeah, if you want to see um, if you want to see the emotes, download Franker Fazy, and you can you can see these two emotes. And he never put them behind a paywall. He kept them on Franker's uh, Franker's facey, and he decided that that that's where they were going to stay and he got new emotes for his channel um for yeah when that's he got fine a... and i mean it's a hard one to choose though it's a hard thing to it, i mean for me that would make the most logical sense but it's also very much a hard thing to say um oh by the way right now you have to get second grade emotes like shitty emotes and then when you get partnered you can get good emotes you know, it's, yeah. it's hard to say. Like, if you have the opportunity to make good emotes that you think you would use, um, then, you know, I would never say don't make them. You know, go ahead and make them. But I guess, I guess it comes down to each individual broadcaster's interpretation of what partnership means to them um, and what partnership means to the viewers. Um, and also, if, if, if $5 a month is really out of reach to everyone who's a regular of your channel, um, I know that there's one or two, maybe even three or four people in my channel who come by every day who aren't subbed, but everyone else, it, it, fortunately for me and fortunately for them, it is subbed. Um, I'm just kind of glad that I don't have to make this kind of heavy decision uh, and that I am fortunately partnered um, because I don't know if I'd be able to make that decision on if you know I'd, I'd convert them over to uh, a paywall or not because it is a hard one. It is definitely yeah. a hard one. Then people will have problems with it, obviously. Oh, I have these free emotes and now I haven't got them, you know? So it's going to yeah. be a difficult one to call. I mean, I, I, I agree that people want to like test emotes yeah. out and they want to have emotes in their own channels when they don't have emotes or more emotes than they can have with than they have slots or uh, f share funny emotes like Ditto. I agree with all of that. Uh, I just don't like it when people put it behind paywalls because I, I, I feel like this is a thing and I, that shouldn't happen. But yeah, that's... that's, that's I, I mean, you're always going to find something to poke at with, with anything, so that's just me being a little grumpy when it comes to people's behavior. That, that's, not a, that's not an inherent problem with BTTV emotes, I guess. Yeah. I just don't like, like that not everybody can see them, but whatever. Like, Shiny's got a few good emotes on his channel, and I'm sure that everyone who uses them in his channel would like to use them across Twitch. Um, but asking each individual broadcaster to share them on their BetterTwitch.tv is, is a really hard one to do. Like, 
it, it's much better to, for me, you know, put them on a sub button so that they can just be used anywhere. Um, yeah. Like, uh, but then again, you know, yeah, it just comes down to how people view it. It's always going to be a really hard one to call. Yeah. Really, really hard one to call. But it's more mm. at home for you four, like, because, you know, I haven't got to make this choice. There's been there's been something that the one thing that's really good about the better twitch.tv system is that if you have legacy emotes, so for people like me who only have eight emote slots, I'm still wanting to fill one up. Um, if you ever get like you have emotes that you want to add to your channel, um, you can or, or emotes that you want to add and you want to remove emotes that you're never going to put back again, then yeah. you can put them on legacy by putting them yeah. on better twitch.tv. Like, Bananasaurus Rex got rid of Rex this, which was my favorite emote, so he put it on Franka's faces. And I was like, oh, you know, so now I can still use Rex this, but only in channels that have Franka's. And I mean, I, I, I will never, I mean, I haven't got Franka's, um, but it's. Uh, I don't have it either. I, I use better Twitch.tv emotes. That's where I'd probably put my legacy ones at least. Um. Okay, th this is a, a bit off topic. I'm sorry, but it was brought up to me. How much was Grand Theft Auto Five originally? Sixty dollars? Yeah, I was just reading this myself. Uh, yeah, yeah. They jacked the price up to eighty, and then put it on Steam sale. Thirty percent sale. Oh, so what wow. they've done is fucking what's, what's actually happening is they're selling GTA Five at a discount, a twenty percent discount. What they've done though is bundled it with an in-game money card, which oh costs the additional price to bring it bring it back up to the. That's cheap. Cost. That is. Oh my god. That's. And that's you can't buy it separately now. Uh, people no. Are try and there's no way. There's no way of buying an individual GTA. Oh no. Wait. There may be. Oh no. I don't think there is a way. I don't no. think there is a way. Bundle. That is disgusting. That's actually. That's horrific. Disgusting. Actually, wait a second. Go on the page. Go on this page. There may be a way to buy it individually. Before we jump the gun, I will put this in the in the chat. Uh, if you go on that page there, there may be a way to. I mean, I can see it for me. Um, but not for anyone else. Um, actually, wait. I don't think GTA I can. Five and Great White Shark cash card. Nope. There is no way. Nope. Wow. There is actually no way. It, it appeared for a second, but there is no way. It uh, kind of updated. That's that. That is really cheap because that game was thirty nine ninety nine, and now it's thirty eight ninety eight. Like that hasn't yeah. made any difference. Wow. Okay, I'm going to make a tweet about this uh, and call them scumbags, so just give me two seconds. <laughs> you do that. That's what Twitter's for. That. Um, yeah, that's kind of horrific. Oh, God. Fucking Rockstar. Yeah, well, you can buy Breaking Vice City heart. for uh, $2.50. So. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, man. Oh, God. That, that is something right there. Oh god, okay, yeah, what that's, else, that's the only thing. You can only like have this. five shared emotes on the whole Better Twitch TV thing? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So you can they don't only... Want it, they, yeah, they don't want people oh, filling it up. From other channels, that's... Weird. Yeah. I mean, you can share uh, emotes from other channels as well. Which... Like, I could make mine shareable if I had one, and you could get it on your channel as well. Oh, wait a minute, okay, do you get both of those cards with it? I, I think you get the white shark one, don't you? Yeah, I think so. Lionet Studios also changed Fable Anniversary Edition to 35% and put it on a 50% discount to bring it back down to its original price. Ah, oh, that's disgusting, Kiri. That's just oh, well. the worst. So yeah, keep an eye out on these Steam summer sales, guys. Just because it says 25% off doesn't mean anything. This kind of makes me think like either they did this this to fuck people over specifically, or Steam was like, "We're gonna we're gonna put your game on sale, whether you like it or not," and then they were like, "Okay," and then we'll just do this. It has to be either of the two then. Well, definitely with, with move, the Cotton. whole bundle thing, I definitely th this just kind of feels like they are being uh, fucking crooks about it. That, that is crooks. It is crooks. Uh, do you see how much they're charging for that money card? It's a, it's a very tr it tasty uh, thing, which, uh, or very true thing that you said they're tasty. Wow, I just said tasty thing. Uh, they jacked up <laughs> the price by adding something which cost them nothing. In-game currency, bold move, Cotton. Yeah, that's very true. That's <laughs> yeah, very true. Yeah, bold yeah. move, Cotton. Nice. It's, uh, that it's £10 yeah. here in the UK, and then what they've done... It, oh, no, it's not £10, is it? How much is it? They put, put one bundle with, with, uh, with the previous games as well, and they put another bundle with just the card. Um... 
that that's absolute horseshit. That is such. I'm really pissed off because that's that's not fair. Like the card costs seventeen pounds ninety eight. I like how there's randomly a Max Payne game on here. And it's Rockstar, so it's like here's our latest Rockstar bundle. Uh, blah. blah. Anyway, should we uh, should we carry on with the the Twitch? We'll yeah, uh, one last topic we have on the docket that we I, I really want to talk about is uh, what got everyone into casting and what is your sort of uh, end goal with it? And this is a question we got on Twitter from Toxicology. Um, I think. Was it Toxicology? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Toxicology Gaming. Yeah. So um, and well, after that we'll go into some of the last uh, things we got tweeted at us by. Uh, by um on twitter on the hashtag so we can do that as well uh but yeah what what got everyone into casting uh you want to go first the uh, ram uh yeah i can do i've said this before on this show uh i worked a very sort of i don't want to say it was a boring job but a lot of data entry and i spent a lot of my time sort of just like writing out on my blog just writing 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 just keeping myself interested and then that job stopped and i had nothing to do every day and I was watching Twitch one day and I thought, oh, here's man versus game. Here's excessive profanity. These guys are having a great time. And I thought, okay, I'm not doing anything else. And if I stay here not doing anything else, I'm just going to sink deeper and deeper into depression. So I'm just going to stream. And I just turned it on and kind of went for it. Yeah. And it, it was literally just to keep me something to do. And it, it, yeah. there's nothing, nothing special other than that. I was bored and wanted to do it. I am in pretty much the same boat, man. I uh, I I was like um, in college and it just wasn't working out. I got sick for a while and they wouldn't fucking let me catch up. It's basically a short story. I don't really want to go into that. Uh, but um, yeah, I was basically doing fuck all and I was like, okay, I need to do something to keep me sane and uh, also develop some personal skills I want to develop, like um, presenting myself, speech, um, talking to people, which is different from speech, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Just feeling good about myself is also an important thing that I definitely uh, sort of gained from doing Twitch. And also getting to know a lot more people because I was sort of closing myself off. And Twitch was like, this is an awesome place where you can get to know lots of people and uh, sort of host the show for other people to enjoy. Because that's also something that um, was a lot, a lot of help for me when I was going through a rough batch. I would just go on Twitch and hang out with people and would literally brighten my day a lot. And it was fucking great. So, um, yeah, uh, EXP, for instance, EXP was my introduction to Twitch, and he got me to a lot of other people, which, um, you know, basically just vastly improved my life, and then I decided I wanted to do the same thing. That's basically how I got into it. So, yeah. What about you, uh, Pew? Uh, me, I was at university, um, studying economics, uh, with business and maths and all that other stuff, and I didn't feel... I felt like I was, in short, I felt like I was surrounded by twats. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I pretty much left university because I thought, well, if this, if this is, the, is the 2014 or 2013 or whatever kind of class that we're going we're gonna to employ, it was 2013 at the time, but if this is the 2013 kind of people that we're going to have in our employment line, I want absolutely nothing to do with it because these guys... Well, I, I have a lot, of, a lot of opinions on university that we can leave for another day, but I think that <laughs> a lot of these people, they, they wanted to go out and drink all the time. They, all they wanted to do was do weed and go to parties. And, and, you know, this was first year taking that into account. And first year is that mess around year where people yeah. do what they want. And there were, there were girls cheating on their boyfriends and guys doing the same and telling me to keep secrets for them and i was like you know what i actually i had a girlfriend at the time and i wanted nothing to do with any of the crowd at uni and i also um found out at a similar kind of time period that i i have i have quite not not severe but i have um add which is more focused on the fact that i cannot focus cannot concentrate and i forget things easy so sitting in a lecture at university was the worst thing for more for me because i just got yeah. distracted um so i left uni uh, got a job at Blockbuster. Uh, I thought that would be a real sound investment. Thanks. <laughs> uh, so that company went to shit. Um, Blockbuster went into the floor. Then got a job as a, at a hotel as a porter, as we call them in the UK, which basically means I was inviting businessmen and women and, and, and people who had booked out rooms for exclusive things. And I was introducing them to 
uh, and I was basically waiting on them hand and foot as, as kind of higher VIPs. So that was pretty cool. Um, that job didn't work out for me. They kept telling me to cut my hair shorter and trim my beard down. So I left there. Um, I didn't want to be prim and cut. So I left that job. Um, then I got a job at a bakery and I was working as a baker and I was working night shift. So I wasn't, I was sleeping in the day and working in the night. So my life was pretty much spent um, in, in the whole darkness the whole time. And I didn't really talk to anyone. All my friends were either at uni or they were awake in the day while I was sleeping. And that's when they wanted to do stuff. And I worked weekends mostly. So I wasn't able to talk to people. Um, so I, I, I kind of discovered Twitch around that time. And I was getting pretty depressed because I was getting abused at work a lot. Um, I actually ended up quitting my, my job at the bakery because my 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 boss would would push me around and swear at me and whatnot and he was a very old-fashioned ex-military type person who had a lot of mental wow. issues and, and ended up taking them all out on me so i ended up leaving that job and um pretty much around the same time as i was leaving that job i just i i i, I was banned from league of legends for two weeks um league of legends was my my lifeblood i got back and i was like you know what league time fucking take out all my frustrations from work Let's do this. And then I got banned from League for two weeks because I, I abused someone in game because they were being stupid. They were being stupid and whatnot. I'm not that person anymore. It's okay. I'm not the flaming little kid that I was before. Um, <laughs> got banned from League for two weeks and, 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 and found found Twitch and, and a game called Might and Magic Jewel of Champions that get, kept me busy and thought, you know what? I'm going to check this game out on Twitch, get some advice. And there were no English broadcasters. I was like, you know what? There's no English broadcasters for this game. I'm going to learn it. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to learn it on my own and I'm going to broadcast it because people need an English caster here. And I just kind of thought it would be a bit of fun. It'd be a way to get in touch with people. It's a way to make new friends because I wasn't in contact with anyone. And uh, I blew up on that. And that was pretty much my my walk into casting. And it was it was wonderful. Sorry for the long, long ass story, but oh, it all kind of adds up. All kind of adds up together. And that's how I got into broadcasting. Yeah. And I've broadcasted pretty much every day since. So <laughs> Shiny, please. It. So, yeah, yeah, no. Okay, shiny. All right. How about you, shiny? <laughs> um, I was introduced to Twitch by my friend Kyoler, and I uh, we, we came across uh, Pew's channel, and I said, if this guy can do it, <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> and so here I am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but no, basically, what happened? Uh, I was looking into into getting into uh online entertainment because i did the whole stand-up thing for a little bit and blah 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 and i was looking at doing uh, a youtube channel and then killer introduced me to twitch and of course man's channel uh and i, ju I just fell in love with the whole concept just live entertainment you know playing video games talking to people and just and i was like okay screw the youtube idea this is where i'm going and here I am. Makes sense following to me. The, following the dream of of my role model, Pew Gemini Live. <laughs> oh, God, man. I didn't even get a reaction now from the. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, how did how did you get into it, Icy? Um, me basically. Well. How I started watching Twitch was more or less through a podcast, um, the co-optional former uh, TGS podcast. Basically, mm -hmm. I was watching Total Biscuit and all his friends talking on Twitch about video games and shit. And then I branched out and like looked for games, mostly esports stuff, um, like Dota 2 and stuff like that and also i'm a huge monster hunter nut so when monster hunter free you was new in like japan and stuff i was looking for streams when it came out uh in the west i was looking for streams i was watching a lot of streams and i found excessive profanity and uh lots of other streams and i was like okay i want i actually want to stream monster hunter as well so i can find people to play with build a community whatsoever and um one day i just kicked myself in the butt and did it um and <laughs> it really really helped me to 
you know, regain um, self-esteem and uh, getting out of a huge depression because all I was doing basically for a long time was watching YouTube videos and watching Twitch because I was unemployed after I finished my, um, how's it called, apprenticeship? College? Uh, oh, uh, internship. In, in, no, I don't think it's internship, but I don't know. Uh, of sure? media design. And okay. I, when I was done, I did not find a job at all. And mm. I was super depressed and I was like, all right, um, let's, let's do this and let's get to. Yeah. Let's just do something at least. Yeah. yeah that's what I had. Something. And my, my friends were, were like also doing less and less stuff with me and everybody was doing something like, uh, getting a job or college or uni or school or whatever and uh, I needed uh, interaction and something to do as well as I wanted to actually not start a game or pick it up and drop it after an hour of playing which as well was a motivation to actually finish games yeah 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 i mean it's uh, it, it, all these extra things come into it right once you start yeah. it's like oh i can actually do all these things with this like um you have like a giant list of things you've always wanted to play that you never yeah, get around I mean, to it's like, oh I've, I've got through this backlog of games and i've learned how to talk to an audience and i'm not a very yeah. sort of i'm not a performer and not an entertainer at heart at all and i'm i can do this i've learned well, how there, to do this. there are so many games i never would have played if it wasn't for broadcast oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. definitely Jeez. Definitely. Long, I also uh, had so much more fun at them as well, because it makes them better how, for me. How long have uh, you been brought? You just hit your one year recently, didn't you, Ram? Yeah, one year was like a couple of weeks ago. And yes, then Gary, yeah. you've you've been broadcasting for a year as long? well. Like I almost had I had my like my one year like very recently as well. And then me and Pew have been around about the same time. What like a year and a seven months almost? It feels yeah, like. around about. We're, I think we're coming up to our year in in uh, October, November. Yes, sir. Uh, two years. Sorry, two in year. October, November. Two, year. two years in October, November. And I see you've been on for one and a half years. One and a half years. Okay, so you, you're up there with me and Pew. Yeah. I started um, on January the first. Uh, so Gary's the baby here. I, I started on uh, no, May fifth. I'm, I'm, I'm younger year. than uh, I'm younger than Gary. Smaller, earlier channel, later channel. Oh, right. <laughs> started it's like later. By, it's, it's literally by like a week or two. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like yeah. me and Shiny. We started. I'm sure, I'm week. fairly sure me and Gary were both in XP's channel, and Gary was just like, "Hey, I've started my new channel," and I was like, "Oh, that's awesome." I think then... You started like uh, a week before me, didn't you, Pio? I, I I'm I'm just checking. I'm not sure. I'll take a look. Um, Are you sure, Ram? Because you did your I'm celebration almost, a bit before mine. I started a week or two before you. Just yeah. a week or two before you. Yeah. Um, well, we're close either way, Ram. Yeah. My first broadcast was on the, um, I think, the 10th of... Uh, no, not the 10th. That's the... What's that? Um, 2013, 10, 29. So that's uh, 29th of October. Your first stream was on I'm uh, old my channel is older than yours uh 2013 no we're what well, when did you start well the 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 unofficial official anniversary is the 17th of October but mine, I started uh like a week before that mine's the, 29th. the reason the 17th is because I didn't catalog anything before then so i don't have actual records so it's guesstimation like a week before the 17th because that was the earliest known uh recorded date yeah i think mine's the 29th i think of october so hmm. a little bit later but i don't i don't i don't know as said my very first stream i definitely got follows on it so it was uh it was pretty crazy lucky you <laughs> All right. yeah, my, my channel was nuts i used to be huge in mmdoc i used to get 200 viewers with that game and uh but then when that game died the community just went ah fuck it onto more card games and i said ah fuck it onto dark souls so um <laughs> we kind of went in different directions if i'd have stuck with hearthstone dark souls. i have no doubt that i would have been a pretty big hearthstone broadcaster if i'd have stuck with it and the ironic thing is is i'm kind of going back to hearthstone now so, <laughs> yeah, well that's I, that's I the thing know. 
it's kind of hard as a variety gamer. You you have to have a lot of luck and um, just stream yeah, the right game at the right time. Yeah, because you I kind mean, of have I, a, a sort of a I'm steady not following. Doing very well, recently, so sorry. Yeah, yeah well, you, well, no, no, it's fine. It kind of goes into what what, what you're saying as well. Like you, you have you have sort of bad spots and good spots as well because you have sort of these people that are always there, sort of your 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 regulars, but you also have all these people that drop off and come in when you play a different game. So, yeah, yeah. it's it's, it's like, gonna be definitely a, a kind of a challenge. It's all about yeah. who you know. I like I know for a fact that for this week I haven't done practically any networking, so to speak. Um, I haven't really been into anyone else's casts very often. I really haven't been anywhere this week because I've been too busy catching up with my subs on Teamspeak, and I wanted to chat with them. And so this week my view count has been a bit lower, but my sub retention has been higher. Um, it's you know it's trade offs and and like. Twitch has is kind of always has been uh, a little bit, but is more so now than ever. Um, more about who you know rather than how well you do. Uh, I'm gonna be really honest. There are some there are some really quality variety broadcasters who who get you know they're in that they're in that ten to a hundred viewer range who haven't been found yet. And then you've got some really really kind of like lesser quality than that is what I'd say for me at least. I find subjectively in that 300 plus viewer range just because people know who they are um viewers and, and i think i think a lot of the viewers here will agree viewers don't very often spend the time to look around to look for a new good channel to watch um they like to get recommended by someone it's the reason that zeke blew up so fast it's the reason that wet for jesus blew up so fast and it's the reason that so many channels blew up so fast is because big broadcasters came along and said hey my friend, this guy, I, you know, I've given him my setup. Go check him out, and and that's the easiest way to kind of get found. Um, like, it you know, doesn't it's, last forever though, as well. It's, I mean, it, it's, yeah, you need to definitely be able to carry it after that. That's definitely yeah, true. you do, yeah. But like, for, it's like Zeke, for example, very good broadcaster. But what got him off the floor to be able to show his content off to the world? Um, was the fact that man knows who he was, you know, and he grew fast and. He kind of got handed all of man's experience with at least how to use the software, you know, how to broadcast a little bit of maybe some lessons on what to do. He was know. casting with man all the time on his channel. Exactly that as well, yeah. So he it it blows him forwards a lot. And he's a um, he's a, a stand up comedian as well, right? So he has some stand up experience as well for, yeah, for just talking to uh, people. I think yeah. he's, uh, so with the right exposure him? coupled into that, yeah, 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 yeah I think yeah. so. So if you couple that with like exposure, um, that's gonna do a lot for you. That's definitely true. Absolutely. Like it, I want to say though, it definitely is up to the person though, because we can all agree. Zach, uh, uh, see, Zeke is fucking hilarious. I don't know why I just said Zach, but Zeke is fucking hilarious. Like I, he did a video recently where he did. Uh, he got his chest waxed for. Uh, oh God. For the charity uh, he did, yeah. he and it was great. He wasn't even playing a game, and I was just like enjoying that shit so these people yeah. are hilarious on their own and that's but the exposure definitely helps find make people find them and that's definitely something that can be rough as a variety caster because it's the the thing hard. is what i'll say about the game section the most important way to see it is a will i be able to cast this game well that's the first question that you ask b can i cast well only if i am having fun yes or no you know so there are a lot of casters who can cast any game they want. It can be anything, even if they're not enjoying it, and they will make it fun. Um, and then it comes to C, you know, am I going to get viewers playing this game, and does it matter? So, you know, when making a decision about playing a game, I recently started Borderlands 1. I asked the question, am I going to, you know, am I going to be able to cast this game well? Yes. Am I going to enjoy this game? Yes. Am I going to get many new viewers playing the old Borderlands game that's now two games behind the pre-sequel um, that's, you know, outdated in every single way? Probably not. Probably not. But I enjoy it. So playing Borderlands for me is less about exposure and more about reinforcing to my current community that, you know, I think I'm a good-ish good kind of caster that can cast this game well, yeah. maybe get some good highlights from it for my channel, maybe make it enjoyable and just enjoy it with the people who are already there. But, I'd, yeah, I'd agree yeah. with you because... Now that I have a community, when I first started, it was very much a case of, right, what am I doing today? Is anybody going to show up? Anyone at all? But now that I've got regulars, it's no longer a case of, oh, what am I doing today? Something that's going to get me to grow. It's, 
am I doing today something that people who are always there are going to enjoy? I'm, yeah. no, longer, I'm no longer entertaining for strangers. I'm entertaining for friends. Mm. Yeah, right. absolutely. Uh, yeah. Never mind. That's why. That's why I I, I didn't really um, mind that. Uh, I streamed Bloodborne when it, a week after it was out because I wanted to wait at least a week. And uh, at this point, uh, it was so saturated because fucking everybody was streaming Bloodborne. So basically, well, not a whole lot of new people came in when I was doing that. But I had been fucking hyping this game up to the people in my chat for literal weeks, and we had all been like foaming at the mouth, chomping at the bit to fucking play this amazing game. And and I had so much fun with it. I I 100% of that thing like in a, just in one go, new game plus the hell out of it right away, etc. You know, I I didn't really at that point I was really like I didn't really care that it wasn't going to be that. Uh, um, something for me to branch out on or whatever. I just wanted to share this experience with my community where Bloodborne was going to be this amazing thing. And it was. It totally paid off of everything. I, I fucking loved casting that game. It was absolutely amazing. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, that's simply and, true. You have to make choices. Yeah. It's like now. I have, you know, a little over 100 subs now. And I, I, I know that people are going to turn up to whatever I do. So when my, when my controller broke and I couldn't do Borderlands 1 until I get the new one, I'm still waiting to get the all clear to send that out for warranty. Um, you know, what will happen is, is that I can play pretty much whatever because people, when they subscribe to you, they don't subscribe to you for the game. They they subscribe to you for the channel that you are, yeah. for the person on that channel. If, if people sub to me for the game that I play, they're making a stupid decision because I, I switch games like the wind. If I'm bored of Hearthstone tomorrow, I will turn on whatever game suits my fancy. And... That's kind of the point that I'm at. If it's like, I, I, like the other day, I just turned on Age of Mythology out of nowhere because I really wanted to play it on cast, and I did. And uh, called in one of my viewers who I play with all the time offline and said, hey, how do you fancy coming and casting this with me? He said, yeah, sure, let's go for it. So, you know, and people stuck around and people talked to us. So when you don't need to grow and you just need to entertain, it takes a lot of the pressure off because um, you don't have to try to enjoy games. But... Um, yeah, making those decisions at wherever you are with your channel, taking a look at your average view count after the streams, Twitch has got a great stat system within the dashboard, is a really wonderful way to kind of, you know, give you a give you a bit of a, a regards to where you are and what you need to do. Like, oh, I only got seven average viewers last week, and probably I probably need to play a game that's going to grow my channel and get my content out to more people. But then you've also got to weigh up the question, is my content gonna make people stick around you know that that's a, that's probably the most important question of all like i thought but i'm asking myself like every day that's the important question and it's it's like jack lafir has some really sound advice on twitch and one piece of advice that he gave to me that i do actually keep close is a lot of the time the the people make the mistake of thinking that follow accounts are important they make the mistake of thinking that the view accounts are important and they make the mistake of thinking that you know x y and z are important the important thing is not viewer acquisition it's not you know follower acquisition it is viewer retention that's the most important thing if you can get someone in the stream that's great right but you know it's a bit of a like, pat on the back well done if you've managed to get them to stick around that's the most important thing because you can get a million people come through the door of your shop but if nobody buys anything and if nobody's interested and if nobody's going to come back, then it's a waste of time. You know, it's a way it, it, the most important thing is, is grinding out what you do until it gets to a point that you feel people will stick like that. That's that's pretty much what I did. I took a couple of days off Twitch to revamp my entire content and I've done it like three I mean, or four times. I mean, so basically what you're saying is like it's important to have an identity basically it, yeah it's important that when people come in they go i want to see a bit more of this i'm going to follow and come back tomorrow yeah 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 yeah. i definitely agree Rather with that it's a, it's all about being a person but like what being, if you being feel like you can't manage to do that or what if you feel or what if you did manage to do that and then kind of you kind of lose it and don't know how to get back on it you have to figure that out like uh for me i okay my everyone everyone kind of knows i'm not going to bang on about it for too long but I uh, am in a relationship with, with Tenezom, who is Erin, also a partner broadcaster, and she lives in the States. So when she flew back to America for the first time on that freedom. three and a half weeks, freedom, yeah, freedom. On that three and a half weeks that she was here, um, the first time that she flew back, um, 
she, uh, I felt like shit after that three and a half weeks. I didn't broadcast for a couple of days because I felt really, really kind of like depressed. I felt really, it, it would sucks when your girlfriend flies back to her home country and is 5,000 miles away. So I didn't feel very up to broadcasting. So I had to put myself in a place where I was ready to broadcast again. So when she left this time around, she'd been here for four and a half months and she left just under two months ago. I felt like shit. But the moment I dropped her off at the airport, I came back home and I started up my broadcast and I just got on with it. And you just, yeah. we were speaking about this. Um, we were speaking about, funnily enough, we were speaking about the exact same thing before we started the show. Um, and you were talking about a conversation that you had with Elegy where yeah. if you don't feel like you can do the content you've or, or you can be confident or you can push it, you've just got to do it. You've just got to get on. And, and if you really want this and you're really hungry for it, you've just got to do it. Look at other broadcasters, see how they do it. Like you know, a, a, a very popular phrase in uh, showbiz in general is uh, fake it till you make it. Even if you're not being confident, that's not if you're not if you're not like confident of yourself that's not really that important the important thing is that you're putting on a good show and that you give the appearance that you want to give so if you want to be this zany crazy motherfucker who does weird things be that person on the camera you don't have to be that person off the camera but if you host a show and that is that's what you want your show to be you can be that person or if you want to be someone who is very confident you can be that person when you're on the show you don't have to if you can't manage to be a very confident person of yourself when you're walking down the street that's an entirely different thing. You're not hosting your show at that point. Mm. I think that's good to keep in mind. I think it's good to sort of um, uh, separate out the fact that you are someone who is on a camera doing a show because it is a show. You are there to entertain people. If you can't, if you can't quite do it, then you know you can't quite do it and uh, uh, do it like that. And that's fine. Just I mean, be be someone who you want to be there. Yeah, I, I've kind of figured that I need to change some things but I haven't felt confident enough to it sounds stupid but to figure them out what to change yeah no, no, it's I've rough, been cause... in a really really negative mindset lately like yeah. I last weekend I've off cat on cast it was all 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 right but once I went off I kind of emotionally, mentally broke down almost. So we were... It yeah. was a really, really bad feeling. And I, we were talking about this last week, about the burnout of streaming, and I think this might have something to do with it. I was yeah. feeling this last week as well. Like, last week, I was just like, I don't have the energy to get up and sit in front of a camera and talk and smile and be happy just today. And I think, take a week off. Like, yeah. just explain yeah. to your current regular viewers that I'm going to need a break, because if I don't take a break... I'm going to be going on a break for a much longer time. Mm. And then just, just take a holiday. Think about what it is that you want to change or what you think needs to be changed. Run it past some of your regulars, like off, off chat or sorry, off cast. Like if you've got anyone on Steam, just run it past them. But take some time to refresh yourself. Don't just keep slapping your face against the wall hoping to knock it down. Yeah, yeah. Because that won't work. Very well important. Important. <laughs> my, my mom actually described it in a really good way, funnily enough. My mom... Um, she, she's always got some really sound advice and I've always kind of stuck by her with it. And she said, it's gonna, for some people are going to find this analogy really silly, but I, I always kind of stick with it. It's like little monkeys on your shoulders and, and they build up. Every time, every time something shit happens, every time something bad happens, another, another fucking monkey jumps on your shoulder and keeps on jumping and eventually you've got, you've got your shoulders and they're full of monkeys and it's shit, right? And yeah. if you let them stack really high and you get loads of them, you're going to have to take more time to get rid of all of them. Like, yeah. get rid oh, of them yeah. the moment they get on there. Like, every single yeah, night, if I've got an issue and something shit has happened in my stream, the first thing that I do is is me and Erin, we call each other and we rant about it. We rant about the shit stuff that has happened. And, and like, like, it's one of the things, like, like bit rant is so helpful and so therapeutic because, you know, you can kind of get everything off your chest a little bit. And that's literally what it is. Like... Yeah. And that, that's what depression is in a nutshell. People have this misconception that they think they think um, they think depression is this is this thing where you're just upset. And that's not what it is. Depression is when you take all of your emotions and you don't show them and you depress everything yeah. in and you yeah. hold everything in and you don't let anything out. That's what getting you depressed numb everything, is. everything basically. 
yeah and and that's that's the happiness that's the bad things as well and then eventually you just keep it all in and you will break down that is going to eventually crush yeah. inside you and I'm, it's going to be shit i mean that's why i had to talk to somebody about this uh right after i mean i i messaged gary on skype and i asked him if he had some time to like yeah. have a call and i was re bitching and moaning and ranting and like for an I hour mean, it was all or... pretty reasonable that was the thing like Dude. i i yeah and i'm glad you did because i don't want you to be like in a shit space you know i, I needed like... that if i yeah. hadn't done that i don't know if i would have come back to casting the week after yeah well i'm glad you did then because i mean i know people that don't do this and you they they eventually do sort of break down and, and do end up doing this anyway but, but then it's what, what pew says it takes them much longer to recover from it like i i i, I am in calls with uh with shiny and pew and, and and lots of other people like almost every night just or, or just chatting to them like oh my god this fucking shit or i need to talk about this or or even just a lighthearted conversation but something good that happened because that's also something that, that's very nice to just talk about and just in general, talking to people is fucking yeah. therapeutic. If, if you're a caster, if you're a small caster, get yourself a stream buddy confidant. Someone who, even if they don't think the same way you do, would at least make sure not to tell anybody else what you're telling them. Because they'll understand what you're talking about, and then you can just rant at them, and it's just so nice. So oh, nice to get yeah. it all off your chest. Yeah, sure you to the yeah. <laughs> Shiny will tell you that I, me and Shiny, we've known each other now. We've known each other a minute, haven't we? Like, like nearly we're moving up to a year and a year and a few wow. months now a long long time and me and shiny used to call each other like every night and a lot of the time oh, we'd, we'd bitch about stuff they don't want to hear about that <laughs> we hey, used, we used to oh call, hey girl like literally like all the time i've known shiny known longer than i've known erin and like you know we just we just we talked it out and we talked stuff about like shit that annoyed us in chat or shit that annoyed us on 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 twitch or things that was like oh like like we were saying at some points like oh we'll never be as good as this person or that person it's kind of like building your confidence up to say actually fuck it i can be i can be as good as um one thing one thing that i did like personally like i used to be in a terrible spot um and and, and funnily enough I, I actually picked up broadcasting right after i also had got out of a really bad relationship as well like i, I got out of a relationship with this girl and one of the things that i did was I, I went on YouTube and I found this one guy. People in the chat might have heard of him, but his name is uh, Elliot Hulse. And um, he is like, not a life coach, so to speak, but he's just got some great opinions and great thoughts on how to deal with like stress and how to deal with, with like, because I got a long family line history of stress uh, and how to deal with like stress and shit feelings when things like pile up in your job or things pile up on a day to day basis and how to, how to just purge them and just get rid of them basically. And, and I employed a lot of his tactics and I still do. And that, that, that was what gets me up every morning. And that's what gets me up to, to stream is employing those techniques and just kind of like getting things off my chest as they come. And, and, and the, the main thing I, I've got to say about it is confidence. If you have a wall of confidence, not ego, but a wall of confidence, you can't be knocked. People can do whatever and, and you just laugh it off. Like I've recently had people flirting with Erin in her chat and people don't know that I'm her boyfriend. And I've like been doing this funny thing where I've just been cheering them on. Like, yeah, dude, keep going. Maybe she'll like you. And it's like, you know, because, and before when I was insecure and I was worried and I was stressed and I was down, I was like, ban them, ban oh them. God. Oh my God, oh my girlfriend, you know, and being possessive and being clingy and all the things that come with anxiety. But as I've kind of got a little bit more confident, it's like, it's like, yeah, man, keep it going. Maybe she'll marry you. And I'm just like, you know, being funny about it. And I can be. Maybe she'll I marry you. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm sure Aaron be... is thanking you for this. Aaron laughs. Aaron laughs. We laugh it off together now. And then eventually when they've had their fun and they get inappropriate, we get rid of them. And it's it's hilarious. It's really funny. I love people this weird comment, shit. The, girls the Bit Rant support group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah see, what, what, what chat, what these guys don't know. Is that all you, the dirty little secrets that I hear? I'm actually writing a book and it will be on sale. For, for, for for Hardback. $69.99. So, uh, $69.99, people. Specifically, <laughs> accurately. $69. I gotta tell you, Pew's chapter is rather interesting. <laughs> oh, God. The craziest one is, um, is, is, is the quiet ones. Yeah, Ram. I think I pointed the right way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you pointed the right way. I put the pictures I sent you in there. I'm all right. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. 
All right. That's in the that's in the paperback art book. Oh the, shit. The, the collectors. Well, um, all right guys, I'll see you next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh but yeah, yeah, I, I think it's definitely true. Like, to wrap this whole thing sort of up with a bow, uh, I think it's definitely important to sort of have people that you can trust and talk to, and it seems a lot of people just don't do this in in general. Like, uh, in general life, you should have people like you should, that you talk to, even if you have to hire someone to do that. I personally went to a psychologist. There's no shame for that for me. I recommend to everyone, even the people who don't have problems or don't think they have a problem, talk to someone, like, because it's just fucking healthy and just... Just do mm -hmm. it, please. Do it, do it for yourself, because it's it, it's it's so fucking helpful. It's a very common trend with broadcasters. Nearly every single broadcaster that I've spoke to, what got you started on Twitch? Ninety, and it's it's surprising how many you actually think do it. But ninety five percent of them said I was depressed. Like yeah. nearly all of them, and even even yeah, Dan's true. gaming, and he sent various letters and subletters and tweets about this. So I know it's okay to bring out and. If you, like, before they deleted the VODs, if you went back and watched Dan's Gaming's first broadcast, you wouldn't think it's Dan's Gaming. You would not think it's him. And he was yeah. he was a shell of a man of what he is now. And he, 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 he was muttering and stumbling, and he didn't know anything. He was very unconfident. And, and the, to where he is now is, is a literal difference of unconfident, depressed, to confident. And, and, you know, depression is a thing that people suffer from, but significantly happier than he was back then yeah and, yeah definitely. you know it's it's something that it's something that you know people people can kind of hopefully relate like dan's gaming is is one of the it's just he, he he's one of my idols i absolutely love the guy he's great absolutely great yeah yeah i, I think it, it helps a lot for a lot of people <laughs> like his hairstyle i'm i'm sure you do shiny uh i think we're gonna that's, have to that's the path to true enlightenment guys i'm letting you know this now shave your head well, you should, i should just shave it all you, can you, i at least like, keep the tail enlightenment and happiness i was i was much happier when my head was shaved it's true yes it's, I, it's a true thing can shave i keep the tail head. can i keep that the tail the, no. like just as on long the as the back. top is empty <laughs> like, yeah boom. just on the back just the tail you, monk no shave it all yeah. no ah uh, okay maybe one day i'll keep you posted no, you'll never be happy till you do. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna have to cut it here, guys. It's been uh, it's been quite long already, and which is good because I liked all the topics we treated. But uh, yeah. uh, I think it is time to wrap it up here. We'll we'll treat the next of the topics uh, uh, next week. Uh, although I quickly want to touch on uh, on some of these questions we got through the Twitter. Uh, most of them are pretty quick. So, um, what are you most excited about for XCOM Two? XCOM Two. Just the fact that XCOM there's an XCOM Two just, coming. Just in just one the, big lump. Yeah. It looks cool. Melt it down and pour it on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't seen, heard of Not a Hero. Roguelike. I'm sorry. I don't know what it is. I'll check it out. It's in my list now, so I'll I'm go check it out. I'm most excited for everything that is not coming out in 2026. <laughs> 2026. Oh. I mean... It, it, that, that sounds like a good year. 2026. So uh, keep your eye out on 2026, that's everyone. That's what E3 does. It announces yeah. stuff. That yeah, hey yeah. Everybody gets hyped about years time. It comes out like years after. It's, yeah, it's... that's true. Um, like, there's um... A great announcement before we close up, uh, the Bit Rant now has a YouTube channel. So uh, I'm gonna put this in the chat. Uh, Ramshackle Thoughts has actually done the work, which is incredible because <laughs> none of us would have done it. Um, so Ram has put in a lot of hard work to get this channel up and it is up now so if you subscribe to it you will get the episode updates as they come so so if you miss a bit rant if you you know and also it's going to be split up into three sections so for whichever one you prefer we have the start of the show which is what have you been playing including you know a little bit more stuff and then we have news and stuff and then we have uh with the new games as well um and then we have uh the regarding twitch so if you only come for regarding twitch that's going to be a separate video on its own um Definitely subscribe to it. Definitely go and check it out. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for for listening, everyone today. Uh, it's I, I fucking love you guys for always being here. This is amazing that y'all come out and watch. Uh, next week, indeed, probably a shitload of E3 stuff because it's happening. Like, wh when does it start? Twenty something. I think it starts. Well, whatever. On, it's starting soon. I'm pretty sure it's before. I think it's on uh, Tuesday, next, Wednesday, right. and Thursday. So. So next Thursday, week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yeah. I'm pretty right. sure the first conference is. Bethesda on Saturday. 
So yeah, oh, we'll we'll have plenty of stuff. Uh, other than that, make sure to go and follow Mr. Ice DJ, our special guest over there. Uh, I'm on with the I'm on a team with him called the the Union as well, so uh, I can personally vouch for his awesomeness. So uh, go Absolutely. do that. Definitely go for Ice yeah. to follow. He's good people. Uh, there better be a <laughs> fucking bit right after that dark. Only because I'm on here. <laughs> you wouldn't have you on here if we didn't think you were good people. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just we just get everyone on here, guys. Everybody gets their turn. No, no, we get people on oh, here that we personally blast. like. Thanks a lot. Yeah. It's all good stuff. Um, right, guys, we yeah. will see you uh, yeah. next week. Thank you for coming Although, by. Ram isn't quick, here no. next week. Not here next yeah. week. Ram is oh, like maybe. literal I'm, kilometers I away. I can't bit rant without I, Ram. I've tried to teach them everything. I do, I do so much for this channel, guys. You don't even know. Oh. And next week, there's going to be fires. There's going to be dead body. It's just going to be great. You tune in. Yeah, it's going to be wonderful. Yeah. Um, oh, God. But yeah, Ram we'll, we'll, back, we'll talk about the YouTube stuff off cast because I have, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> but guys, thank you all for coming by. Uh, we've been bit rant and we will see you all next week. Ram isn't here. So, so salutations to Ram for the next uh, few weeks. Yeah, are we um, doing a bit run after dark? I don't know or we think maybe. so. Maybe after the bit run. We may do maybe. a bit run after dark. Watch the Twitter, okay? <laughs> Peace watch, out. Watch it. <laughs>